Hey you guys, welcome to this practice today. We're gonna to be doing something that I've been doing uh, every morning, poses that I've been doing uh, every day, um, just to keep the body and everything open. Um, you can grab a strap for this practice. You don't need one, but if you have one, you can also use a towel. Um, and we're gonna have a blanket or something to go behind our head in our relaxation today. So thank you for joining and let's begin.
pick the right foot up and step it back. Step the right foot forward. Pull. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands to the floor, then you're going to take another forward fold. And pick up the left foot. Step it back. Anjali Asana, low lunge. You can plunge your back foot forward again, fold. Just let go, then lift up halfway. Forward. Fold, hands to the floor. Let's rise up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands down to the sides. You can place your palms together at heart. Again, just feel the breath. Open up your feet out a little bit wider. Bring the hands on the hips. Stand tall. Find a tilt from the hips. And fold. Plant the hands down on the floor. Ragdoll position. You have your elbows here.
the arms and hands go, bend the knees, and come down into your chair pose position. You can always bring the hands to the heart to modify. Focus on that tilting through the hips, engaging of the core. And see if you can stay low in your seat. straighten your legs, just let that go. Arms down and come up on your tippy toes. It's going to practice some balance and paying attention here. Up on those toes, get up high. Good, just lower down slowly with control. Good. Bend the knees again, come back to that chair. Now come up Again on the toes, see if you can hold it. Alright, come all the way up and lower down slow, see if you can. Then let go of the arms and the hands. Interlace the fingers, bring the palms up, arch back. And reach down to the ground. Pick up the left foot, step it back, tap down the knee. So you can modify with the knee down, just like we did last time, or this time lift the back knee up. Step in a little bit and keep that back leg straight. Right hand is going to end up on the right knee. And let's take our first twist. Turn to your right and hold it there. Try looking over your right shoulder. Try lifting the right arm up. Now let's lower down that hand slow. We can add one more back of the leg stretch here. If that feels good. Usually does feel good. Our hamstrings want to be stretched. They want to be lengthened out as much as possible. Or at least mine. Most of the time, right? Getting right into that space. back into low lunge, lifting that back knee. Remember to adjust here. You don't want to feel off balance. You want to find a nice neutral hip square position. Lightly step back forward, fold. Bring it into your half lift.
Set up your chair so feet can be out a little bit wider, closer together, or hip width distance. Arms can be lifted this one, so you're adding a little bit more open rotation of the shoulders, the chest. And we'll place those hands down the floor as you stretch out the legs. Step the left leg back. Now this time we're going to turn the right toes in, turn the left toes in as well too, and go down to a wide leg forward fold stretch. We're not going to stay in this straight one for too long. We're going to move side to side. So that left knee is going to bend, that right leg is straight. And change. So go at your own slow pace. Try to get into that full position though, so that leg straightens out as that other knee bends. And then you're moving your hands side to side. Usually we don't do this type of movement outside of yoga, right? So we're getting into some space, we're getting into some muscles in the inner thighs. Everything here is kind of working together. Let's do about two more on each side. And just take your time. Work into the movement. Find your slow deep stretches. Your hands don't even have to touch the floor here. Maybe you're just sort of bringing the hands down. You're moving side to side, right? Like this. And then next time that you stop in the middle, just take a wide leg forward fold. Turn back to the front of your mat. And we're going to take our first downward facing dog. If you've never done down dog before, right, it's okay just to sit back here for a moment, both feet back together. Don't worry about that transition of jumping uh, or stepping back the foot right in. Just sit it up. We've been waiting for that down dog. And we've been waiting for that upper body um, strengthening, right? A lot of the upper body is nicely worked here by pushing down. Feet are pushing back and that's finding another stretch in the hamstrings. So we'll work on bringing that right foot between the hands. You can lower and just bring up that right foot. So we're gonna make it back into low lunge, Anjali Asana. Arms, the chest, and everything can lift up here if you like. In full position, and then let go of the hands down to the floor, step up to the front and fold. Inhale, take it into a flat back. Exhale down to forward fold. Let's rise up again. And arms down to the sides. And second set, coming up high on those toes. Finding those lateral side to side movements. 
is a really beneficial exercise and practice to do for a lot of reasons. For the lower body, kind of flexibility, for coordination, for just power and focus. Let's do two more on each side. Two, or 
already done this. In the second set, maybe it should feel a little easier because you've done it already.
Come back through center. Stretch your left leg. Take your arms and hands up to a lift. Reach forward. Reach down. Now all you're going to do is bring those feet together. For the next forward fold. Open your knees out. Let them relax. Out wide. You shouldn't feel any tension in the knees. It's going to tilt right from the hips. Should feel good. And nice. Just a hinge forward. Let go. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, let go.
can step down dog every time. Knees, chest, chin down. Lower back and over. And one more time. Last one. Lift up into your downward facing. Lift the left leg. Plant that foot forward. Warrior one pose. Bring down that right foot. Take your arms open then. Warrior two. Bring the left hand up. Hands full. Come up. Left leg can straighten. We're going to bring your left arm down. Reach the right arm up to triangle.
spell works. Anything works. Anything that you can hold on to. Try and keep you away.
out to the sides. Maybe bringing those elbows and arms to go forward here a little bit.
continue on the mat. If your legs are up, you're welcome to bring the mat a little bit wider into a V. so much for joining the practice today if you can take one minute please subscribe to the youtube channel and thank you for joining yoga joe from go yoga with joe.com